What if every time you looked at the night sky, you weren't seeing stars as they are, but as they were? What if the universe was a giant time machine, one that works every single night? So here's the question. When we look deeper into space, are we actually looking deeper into time? Light is the universe's memory. Light doesn't travel instantly. It moves fast, about 186,000 miles per second. But space is so enormous that even light needs time. So when you look at the moon, you're seeing it as it was 1.3 seconds ago. The sun, 8 minutes ago. And the nearest star, over 4 years in the past. The farther away something is, the older the light becomes. Telescopes are time machines. Every telescope, from backyard lenses to the James Webb Space Telescope, isn't just a tool for magnifying distance. It's a device for collecting ancient light. When Webb stares into deep space, it's not just seeing faraway galaxies. It's seeing galaxies as they were billions of years ago, when the universe was young, chaotic, and just beginning to form stars. The deeper we look, the younger the universe gets. Imagine peeling back layers of cosmic history. Nearby galaxies show the universe in its adulthood. Farther galaxies show its teenage years. And the faintest, reddest smudges, barely visible, show the universe as a newborn. We're literally watching the universe grow up, frame by frame, across billions of years. Why distant light looks red. As the universe expands, light stretches. This stretching turns blue light into red light, a phenomenon called redshift. So the oldest galaxies aren't just far away. They're red, faint, and stretched by time itself. This is how astronomers know which galaxies are ancient. They read the color of time. The cosmic limit is at the edge of the observable universe. There's a limit to how far we can see, not because the universe ends, but because light hasn't had enough time to reach us yet. The farthest light we can detect comes from just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Beyond that, darkness. Not because nothing exists, but because the light hasn't arrived. Every star you see is a message from the past. Every galaxy is a chapter in a story billions of years old. And every night sky is a mirror, reflecting not where the universe is, but where it was. So here's the question to leave you with. If the universe is always showing us its past, how much of your own past are you still looking at?